Welcome to Bot Sailor. Today in this video, we will show you how to send Shopify order notifications to customers' WhatsApp accounts by using the Bot Sailor. First, we will have to create a message template that we want to send to Shopify customers. To create a message template, go to Bot Manager and select Message Template. We will use some variables in the message templates, and we already have created some variables for our previous campaigns. If you need more, you may add more variables by clicking the Create button under the Template variable. Let's click on the Create Template button. Give a name to the template. Then, write the message body. We will be using variables in the message body. I am using the total price, product list, and estimated delivery date variables in this message template. Click on the Save button. Let's check the status of the template. Yes, it's approved. Now, let's go to Webhook Workflow. And then, go to New Workflow. Give a name to the workflow. Select the WhatsApp bot account from which you want to send the message. Then select the message template we have just created. Now, click on the Create Workflow button. As soon as we do that, we will get a Webhook Callback URL. Copy the URL. Now, go to the Shopify admin account. From there, go to Settings. Then go to Notifications. From there, navigate to Webhook. Then click on Create Webhook. On the Event field, select Order Creation. Keep the format as JSON. Paste the URL that we copied from the Bot Sailor. Finally, click on the Save button. Now, go back to Bot Sailor and click on the Capture Webhook Response button. It will wait to get a webhook response. From the Shopify settings, send a test notification. Let's wait for the notification on the Bot Sailor. Yes, we have the response with sample data. Now, let's map the webhook response. First, its phone number. For Shopify, it's the phone number under the shipping address. Select it from the list. We need to use formatters for the phone number. In this case, we will create two different formatters. One is to remove the plus sign, and the other is to remove any dash in the phone number. Let's click on the new button to create a formatter. Give a name for the formatter. From the action menu, select trim left. On the trim field, put the plus sign. Save the formatter. Let's create another formatter for removing dashes from the phone number. Give a name. Choose Replace from the action menu. Look for dash and replace it with nothing. Save the formatter. Now, on the formatter, add both of the formatters we have just created. Now, select the variable for total price. On the variable product list, we will use line items. If we check on the raw data, we can see that, under line items, the title and name are both the same. So, we can use any of them for items. Now, let's select line items on the variable. We will need a formatter for the products. Give a name for the formatter. In the action, select concat list items. In the glue, we will use a comma, because we will concat items with comma. Then select which position. In this case, it is name. Save the formatter. Then, select it from the list. Then there is an estimated delivery date. We'll use the date of purchase, and increase it by the number of days, to calculate the delivery date. For instance, if a delivery takes 7 days at your company, simply add 7 days to the date of purchase. So, let's select the date created. Then, create a formatter for it. Give a name for the formatter. On the action, select Day Add, and then put the number of days. 
save the formatter. Now, select the formatter. Here comes the option to add a delay time for sending the message. It must be used with minutes. For example, if we want to send the message after 2 hours, we will have to use 120 minutes. For now, we are not using any delay time. We can also add conditions to send message. For that, we need to create rules. We are not using that option for this instance. But if you need, you can create rules. Finally, click on the Save Workflow button to save the workflow. Now, let's test this integration by purchasing anything from the Shopify store. Let's return to Bot Sailor to see the report after making the purchase. It's in the pending status. This should be handled in a short while. Yes, it has been processed. So, the message should be received on WhatsApp. Yes, the message with all the details has been received on WhatsApp. So, this is how we can send Shopify order notifications to customers' WhatsApp accounts when they make a purchase on the Shopify store. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.